know, yank wind hard or something, right? Like, you don't have a choice. They'll teach it, you know, because once you let them go and, you know, go to school, what happened is they have them for eight hours and they can teach them whatever they want for eight hours. So, especially young, even older kids, we have to cover them with the blood of Christ, right? Without that, they have no the world it's very corrupt now right so there are all kinds of things that are theories that are out there right so I ask God what is the quality of a good man what should a father or a good man leave to his community or give to his children or give you know pa chang ge pe nai ma le yo cha kaung tiao ni ne be ni ya ma yat di bi do be o sa ko community o le support phit phit nai ma le be o sa ko spiritually yo physically yo mentally yo everything mo no ni ne ba lu pyo ma so a lu phit bo jo no phya ta khin o me da mo no the first thing god told me was in Mark chapter 10, verse 18, it says, there is none good but one, that is God. So, to know me like what is the quality of a good man to me like There is nobody's good according to God, except himself, right? So, to know, 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 to มะเตงเงี้ยเนาะอืมเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
Psalm chapter 49 verse 20 says, A man who is held in honor, yet who lacks spiritual understanding and teachable heart, is like a beast that perish. No. Psalm 49 20. Right? It says, the people who have wealth but lack understanding are like the beast that perishes. So, the translation, I imagine, or translation by what I imagine, a man who is held in honor, right? Wealth, honor, and who lacks spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding is very important and, and a teachable heart. It's like a beast that perishes. Quality of a good man. Payao jano mira kama payao di janja di ne chano osakabio. If you wanna be a quality man, if you wanna influence your surroundings, if you wanna influence your kingdom or your your payao bi thai ne yawa no. Influence everything that is around you. No, Piada can call Hale down and no, Genoro Nina, Crean, so we don't feel like a comma, Genoro influence law, Magino, Nina, Machida Louis. You know, so Genoro influence law and spiritual understanding and teachable heart is very important. Now, John Jadakwa, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly deciding the word of truth. Discerning the word of truth. Right? If you want to become a quality, you know, a good quality man, spiritual discernment, basically, spiritual discernment. ပြားတခင်ရှင်ဟိုင်ကိုကိုစက်တာခြင်းကကျူးစားအထူးချလို့ကျွန်တော်တို့အခုခဲ့မှာတကယ်ခလေးတွေခလေးတွေလို့မပ
So, throw pushing it, Yari, Miyaji, pushing it, throw money looting it, Yari, Miyaji, I don't throw, I put up your man. Oh, Tare, I don't know. Naso, yeah, Messi, when you miss him, a point on pay Tare, Yari, point lavo, General also down, we were down, General down, Pianini, no, General. A diga through a yet have no sit type yam. Babylon's or eight generation up young lay on my palace or good age eight generation up to get again. Solution government and saw winning. No, any any age group twenty to thirty jar machine in an age group got a good to give your message. No, Nina Mavaji like a soya low loan in a little bit. No, through. Government held when I net a swan side through machine. John Pete had it through it. You know, they're educated, but worldly education or not, not spiritual education. So through the care, Guna, Mangane, Lu, Mangane, man monos as a species of John Ludas, we don't Mangane, Ludadia of people, Didi, a good quality Ludadia of people, Piata King, Alma, no. Blameless Piame, กูกูสะตาจินจูดาอาจารย์ตะเคนเอ่อวงคันเลชั่ดจ้องเสียจ้องไม่ชีเวตะมาเดียกูเสมันซอปั้นชาตัดตัวตัวผิดบ่เนา
when he's up here. And I remember this. I'm thinking in my head, you know, I'm thinking back and I, I'm, I'm, I keep hearing these, the, the same word, you know, I keep rehearing him saying that. So I want to share this with you guys. It says in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 9. Verse 11. I mean, chapter 11. <laughs> chapter 11, verse 9. Yes. It says, uh, Young people, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in. But remember that you must give an account to God for everything you do. So, like I said, to each his own. A chinlu bio that bio do a ka bio mwe lo a that bio zin ka la dren se shun lan yin shi lo. Go lo shi a lan ne go nyan bia do lan do lai lo do ya dren to mu lo zong do go pia da kin si jo yu now this verse I want to thank Sia David because this verse stuck to me <laughs> like glue right so as I grow up as I you know became an adult and did my own thing walk my own you know my own road this verse actually always comes back to haunt me I, I will not haunt me but how would I say it always comes back to teach me remind me so, so like I said to each his own but remember whatever you do you must give account at the end so live your life, be happy, do everything you need to do, whatever you want to do, take it all in. But remember that you must give an account to everything that you do to God. At the end. So as a, you know, as me asking God, Lord, what is it to be a man, a good man, a responsible man, right? What is it to be a good husband, a responsible person? And these verses keeps coming back to me. So spiritual understanding, right? And righteous living, no, Lord. Another thing, to be independent, right? As I grew up, as I grow older, as I walk my own ways, this verse always reminds me, whatever I'm doing, 
whatever I'm going or wherever I'm going, there is always, at the end, I'll, I will have to give it an account, right? So, you know, I need to be careful, especially right nowadays. In Mark chapter 10, verse 6 through 7, it says, But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, right? Matthew 19, 4, 6, right? A good man become independent and you know, he has independence. He has affection, right? First Corinthians 7, 3 says, let the husband render to his wife the affection due her and likewise also the wife to her husband. Affection. That's needed. Relationship that is needed, right? Same way as the spiritual life, we are the body of Christ, right? The church not only is the body of Christ, the church is a woman. People tend to forget that. We tend to forget that, right? The church is a woman. Christ is the bridegroom. Church is the bride. So, as we grow in spirituality, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. So, when we understand that, when we understand that Christ is our bridegroom and the church is the body, and when they become one, right? When they become one body, one flesh, it says earlier, therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate in Matthew chapter 19, four through six, right? It says, a man shall leave his father and mother and inseparably to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Now, us, the body of Christ, shall be one flesh with Christ. Loyalty and commitment. 1 Corinthians 7, 4 says, a wife does not have authority over her own body, but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but yields it to his wife. These are reminding me of Jesus every day. Jesus cared for us so much, cared for the bride so much that he gave his life for her. Leadership. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. As I study the Bible, I start to understand that Christ, being a good husband, a good man, was an example of a quality good man. He provided for his bride. He took care of her. He guided her. He taught her. He lifted her up. Not only that, he gave himself for her salvation. Now, as a man, as a husband, sometimes I feel like, you know, I have, sometimes I get angry. You know, in every marriage, I believe there's always little here, things here and there, right? I know more experienced people are here, but as, you know, um, in my life, in my own experience, as of now, I feel that there is conflict sometimes in, in a marriage. You know, sometimes she doesn't listen. 
you know, <laughs> sometimes she does, you know, her own things and I get angry, but I ask God, how do you, how, like, I, personal testimony, okay, I even ask God to change her, right? Right? But God reveals to me, He says, even though you have rejected me, I still loved you. I loved you enough that I give myself for you. As a body of Christ, as a bride of Christ, as the church, you know, I became to realize, I mean, the things that God teach, it's so deep, and sometimes it hurts because it cuts deep, right? I try to be highly, you know, holy and mighty and whatever and whatnot, right? Like, I try to tell my wife with Bible verses and stuff like that, and I try to tell her, hey, you're wrong because of this. <laughs> and, you know, God will tell me with, you know, a different verse like this, that, hey, you're wrong because of this, right? So, you know, like, teach low down. <laughs> like, I feel like that. And, you know, yes, as a good husband, good, a good man, you should be godly. You should know how to appreciate your wife. You should know how to be honest. You should be forgiving. Because Christ is our model. Right? Christ is our model. He gave himself for us. He loved us unconditionally. That agape love, right? So, as a husband, as a man, I became to understand what this is, right? Like, how to be a good man. Even though, if I can't handle it, God will not let me face it. I realize that. No. As a husband, I began to realize that I am the foundation of the family. No. You know. So I understand that I am the foundation of the family. Without me, there is no family. Right? I began to understand that. So, foundation, when you research it, Amaro Sotima, no? Foundation, you, have, you gotta dig down to the bedrock to set a foundation for a building. They spend more money on foundation than the building itself, right? So, I began to realize, oh, wow, every experience that I had in life, Everything that I've been through or faced or experienced was for me to prepare so that I can understand later on in life, right? So I began to realize that God built those foundations for me so that now at the stage I am in my life, I'm more prepared to bear the burden, bear the load, right? So Piada King, honestly, honestly, like I feel like I, I'm more prepared to bear the load of a family. Not just that, like even in spiritual life or outside, even in work life, right? Everything that I face, everything that God had prepared me, like when I, even when I go out, like even over there, when I make sushi and stuff like, I machine it, me my Asian. Uh, they, I pray for them because through a young struggle, Loa, like uh, one lady, she's 60 years old, still working in the kitchen, right? She makes sandwiches and stuff like that. She has two sons. One of them stay lives with her, doesn't work, go in and out of jail smoke weed all day, curse his mom, you know, take her car and do whatever, and she doesn't drive, so, you know, she, <laughs> but she's still working, 
she's still taking care of me. She say, you know what? I don't know how to, you know, deal with it. Like my life is so hard. I said it'll be okay. Piata nae, super down me. You know all these, like everything, everything in your around you, you should affect. Right? Jono ruye tawonga, jono ruye surrounding go affect lopo, influence lopo. So, so those ladies back there, I always pray for them, pray with them, and talk to them, and share with them about God. Right? พยายามจะโน่บาพอบยาเลยพอบยาเลยเอาใส่ตรุพอบยาตรุเลยลงอ่ะอะไรแต่ละรอดแต่เอาหัวใจเลยจะโน่ลาแชร์ลงตรุใ
once you become, you know, once you become one flesh, God does not see two people, he sees one, right? So it is very important for, as a man, to balance, no. เจ้าเนี่ยเจ้าเพิ่มมากกว่านี้ไปตรงนั้นตะลุงตะญีตะญัดแท้ผิดไปแล้วกูสุดตองกูตองสุดได้อย่าได้ปิ่นสงมูพ
So in conclusion, I want to leave you with two verses that God has strengthened me with. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 through 14. Be watchful. Stand firm in faith. Act like men. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. The next verse is Joshua 1.8. This, this verse, when God spoke to me with this verse two times. How to be a good man? No, the, the quality of a good man, the before when I ask him how to be successful in life, too. God spoke to me with this verse. Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall read and meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will be successful. First Corinthians says, be watchful, stand firm in faith, act like a man, be strong, and let everything that you do, do in love. And Joshua 1 a says, if you want to be successful, do not let this law, the book, out of your sight. Meditate in it day and night, and it guarantees that you will be successful in life. Thank you.